Wiley. I am German. I have my master in uh, biological oceanography. I'm working with oceanics since one year. I um, help with the turtle program, I help with the dolphin, the manatee, uh, the coral reef. Coral reefs here and the mangroves and the seagrass beds, those are the most important habitats like for all the life that's going on. So you find, um, um, I think in the whole whole earth is uh, zero one percent are actually coral reefs and they provide a home for um, 65 percent of the fish species I'm Roberto Pott. I'm the Belize coordinator for Healthy Reefs for Healthy People. And so we're a science-based organization that has been working in the Mesoamerican reef ecoregion. And that starts from Quintana Roo, the state of Quintana Roo in Mexico, um, covers Belize, the coast of Belize, the Caribbean coast of Guatemala, and the coast of Honduras. So those are the four countries that we refer to as the Mesoamerican reef ecoregion countries. We've also notice is that an healthy reef, um, one of the factors that contributes to an unhealthy reef is when you have overgrowth of that reef. And so um, as communities and municipal areas, urban areas have developed along the coast, we've seen a lot of um, fleshy macroalgae growing on the reef. And it's been proven that that's directly linked to the amount of nutrients that have been put into the marine environment. And so, um, the more algae you have means the less healthy your reef is. I always felt passionate about animals that um, that get screwed by humans, basically. In, in, in general, um, we had coral cover between 40 and 60 percent in the region. Um, since we started to, Healthy Reefs and, and its partners started to do this, um, initiative to assess the health of the reef. Um, we've been around, it actually went down to somewhere around 10 or 15 percent. And so um, since 2008, we've seen a, a slight increase from 13 percent to 16 percent of coral cover. And we see coral as being the foundation. It's, it's, it's the, the nexus, it's where everything starts um, because fish use it as habitat um, and it also um, becomes a, 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 a larger barrier and so the, the reef is really um, such a, a critical part of the ecosystem because it then provides shaded areas for mangroves and seagrass um, to become established and so um, hovering around 13 to 16 percent um, on a five point scale it's in the area of fear. Basically to uh, sum it up it's um, I want to keep what's left for the next generations and biodiversity makes our planet so new, 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 unique and, uh, and beautiful. So I think it would be boring if in a hundred years we have only humans left.